Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to add salt and rinse aid to a Beko dishwasher. For top dishwasher cleaning results, dishwashers need to use very soft water and that's where the salt and the rinse aid comes in. And the rinse aid reservoir will be on the back of the front door. And to pop open the lid, just push this button at the front here. And this is where the rinse aid goes and you can see the symbol here. And on this particular model of Beko dishwasher, it's got an adjustment on it. This is where you can adjust the amount of rinse aid that goes into your dishwasher cleaning program. If you set it to one, that is the minimum amount. If you set it to six, that is the maximum amount. So I'm just gonna set it about halfway. If you've got that on yours, you can just experiment with that and see what's best for you. Take your rinse aid. There's lots of different manufacturers that make this. This one is fairy rinse aid, but finished rinse aid is also a good one and just squirt it into the reservoir here. And just keep doing that until basically it just starts coming out of the top. We don't have to fill it up all the way if you don't want to, if you're just topping it up. And why do we use rinse aid? Well, as the name suggests, it helps water rinse off of your dishes and glasses. This helps prevent watermarks forming and also makes your glasses come out sparkling and crystal clear. And it definitely helps with drying as well. Once you're happy that it's full, you can just close the lid and then what we'll do is we'll top up the salt. Now isn't salt wonderful? We put it on our icy roast to stop us crashing, we put it on our boiled eggs to make them taste delicious but mostly we put it on our chips. To top up the salt you'll need to remove the lower basket and the salt reservoir is here in the left hand side. Now I do believe in America lots of dishwashers don't have a salt reservoir and that's probably because the water is so soft but over here in Europe we've got lots of hard water so just unscrew that anti-clockwise lots of water will pour out this is completely normal nothing to be worried about and then you want to take your dishwasher salt granules these are special dishwasher salt granules now hopefully when you've got your dishwasher you've got a funnel I'm trying to use this one but it doesn't actually fit I think this funnel was from a different dishwasher. To fill it up, you may need to remove the lower spray arm, that just unclips. Now I've just got this other funnel that I'm gonna use here. If you haven't got a funnel, just be very careful when you're pouring the salt. Now as you're pouring the salt granules in, these will dissolve into the salt reservoir, which is actually full of water, and this is completely normal. And we use salt to help soften the water and prevent lime scale in your dishwasher. So if we just zoom in here, you can see the salt granules going into the salt reservoir. Now, as this happens, this will displace the water and you will get water pouring into the bottom of the dishwasher. Again, this is completely normal, nothing to be worried about. Just going to give this funnel a shake just to make sure all the granules go down into the reservoir. If you spill any salt granules inside your dishwasher, make sure that you clean those up. And we'll do that at the end. You can see there the water being displaced and the salt granules soaking down into the reservoir. And as we're on the subject of Beko dishwashers, there's a link above about how to keep your Beko dishwasher hygienically fresh. That's a really good idea to run about every 30 dishwashing programs. Once you've added enough salt, then clear up any salt that you've spilled. Just got a non-scouring sponge here. Then put the lid back on. If that lid was dirty and crusty, make sure you give that a good clean with an old toothbrush in some hot soapy water. Then screw that lid on clockwise so it's nice and tight. Then remember to put the lower spray arm back in, otherwise your next cleaning program won't be very effective. And then put in the lower basket. You can buy special dishwasher tablets that have got the salt and the rinse aid built in so you don't have to top it up, but these aren't nearly as good. Job done, time for a brew. Whilst I'm having a cup of tea in the top right is what to do if your Beko dishwasher is not draining water properly. And in the top left, how to keep your Beko dishwasher hygienically fresh. And in the bottom left, how to adjust the top basket height. I hope that was useful. 